Jared is with us in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Hi, Jared. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, guys. Hey. I have a question regarding cost of living raises compared to inflation. I personally enjoy giving my customers the cheapest service available, yet to keep up with inflation, we have to give raises. How do those two things mesh together? And is there anything we can do to battle the inflation as a business owner? No, not, uh, you know, your job is not the macro economy. Your job is to run your business. And that means take care of your family and the families that you pay. Um, that's your job. Uh, the macro economy discussion is that um, when things go up, when, when the cost of a loaf of bread, the cost of a service, the cost of a, uh, a pack of hot dogs, whatever it is you want to call it, a, a gallon of gas, when, when the cost of that goes up, one of the reasons the cost of the item has gone up to the consumer, when you raise your prices in business, is because their cost of goods has gone up. If their cost of goods are, you know, for instance, if I make a, uh, if we print a book, uh, a, a total money makeover, a Baby Steps Millionaire's book, well, the cost of paper has gone up 30% in the last 24 months. All right? And so that's going to be built into my pricing on the next book that we put out. Agreed? If the, uh, Agreed. If the cost of that book includes a, uh, a dock worker, to do the shipping and a truck driver to deliver it. And both of those people get paid more by me to bring me that book. Then now the cost of that book has gone up again. The paper cost went up and the labor cost associated with delivering that went up. And so anytime you pay people more inside your business, you have to absorb that in price changes. Mm -hmm. And so price increases are always, not always, but they, they, they're, they have, you have to do a price increase to stay open. Otherwise you're not profitable to cover your actual cost of goods and cost of labor. Mm -hmm. yeah, and if you don't have any margin, you're yeah. out of business. And when the cost of labor goes up due to cost of living raises or any other raises, uh, just a shortage of, uh, workers. Uh, an example of that is, um, you know, we told when America got Fauci'd, we told all of the service industry, all the waiters and the people that make your beds at the hotel and uh, the people in the service world that they weren't essential. And we sent them home, told them they couldn't work. If you're a restaurant worker, you're not allowed to work. And in some places we did that for a month. Other places we did it for a year. When you tell people they're not essential and then you want them to come back, they remember how you pissed on them last time. And so guess what? You want to hire somebody in the service world today? Pre-COVID, you might have done that for $10. Now you might be looking at $25 because there's a shortage of workers in those industries mm -hmm. still to this day yeah. post-COVID. And so, uh, you know, the economic implications of COVID are still shaking out. You cre it created a labor disruption and a labor price change. Uh, and we've seen it in other areas uh, of labor as well. Our cost of what we pay someone to work here at Ramsey has changed in some of the areas pretty dramatically. And some of the, we do comp studies to see where they're charging. So yeah, then that means that if I'm going to uh, be profitable, I have to raise a price somewhere. Yeah. And so that person that buys that pays more and that's called inflation. Yeah, you don't, and you don't have to feel guilty about it. It's just part of no part but, of it. But I mean, it, it, what 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 he's pointing out, and I think it's good for people to hear out there is when you're walking around with a little picket in your hand and you're saying, "I demand fifteen dollars," I demand twenty two dollars, where I was making ten to work at McDonald's, then the cost of McDonald's goes up mm -hmm. to cover your idea of you being worth more, then you don't get to bitch about paying more for stuff because you caused it. That's what I'm talking. That's what he's talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. And so you can't go, I don't like the fact your fast food prices all went up 
and yet you're walking around demanding that the cost of labor at a fast food place go almost freaking double. Yeah. And then and, and then can't fit, you know, of course, you know, um, it's it's all connected. Mac costs more, you know. I mean, that's <laughs> why that's how that's how it works because these businesses are not evil and greedy, but they also are not not for profit. That's right. They have to make a profit to stay open. And oh, by the way, even nonprofits are profitable. A nonprofit that isn't profitable closes. Out of business. It's out of business. It's gone. Nonprofit is not an not an actual dollar amount of they didn't make more than they spent. It's just an accounting entry and an IRS designation. But they actually, you know, your church has to take in more than it puts out. Otherwise, it closes. So nonprofits are profitable. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and so if the cost of electricity at your church goes up, That's then right. there you go. I mean, you're going to, you're, you're going to, if the cost of staffing at your church goes up because you're competing in the marketplace for that creative position at the church, mm -hmm. that music director at the church, you're, you're competing with the marketplace, then that, you know, it costs more to operate that organization. And mm -hmm. some organizations haven't survived that. That's right. So, yeah, discussion. inflation includes cost of labor. And when you've had a labor disrupt disruption like the quarantines created, uh, we haven't seen – we've seen most of the end of it, but we haven't seen the complete end of it yet. Um, it will calm down and smooth out eventually. But even a little 3%, 5% cost of living raise then gets built into the thing. And you can't really – in business, I can't – stand against that and go well i just refuse to raise my prices well you refuse to stay in business you know <laughs> right. that's just kind of dumb so so the next book you buy from us get ready the price is going to be more because hello <laughs> you know those ten dollar sales we run they're Not about to be 12 they're, 50. they're about done i'm just saying <laughs> we're, we're about done with a ten dollar sale because it's sent ten dollar sales about backward it's about upside down now and i'm about done with it mm -hmm. so uh that was helpful for a while but been doing them for <laughs> been doing them for 10 years and it, you know, it's cost cost of paper now. cost of paper kick kick my butt, and so I'm gonna pass on the butt kicking. All right, that's how this works. That's how that's how it works, y'all. I mean, it's just this is how it is. So if you think it's otherwise, then you're being naive. So, but it's interesting to me that we teach so little civics and so little economics today that people can't make a basic connection. They don't between, know it's connected. Dave. I demand to be paid more, but then on the other hand, I'm gonna bitch about inflation. Yeah, no, I don't. Think when people you freaking realize. caused it. The, you're the essence of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I can't believe the cost of bread. Well, it cost about <laughs> twice the labor to put the bread on the shelf now That's right. that it did. So, look, I mean, almost double. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And you can't even get the help. Can't mm -hmm. get people to show up because they're sitting at home in their mother's basement playing Nintendo. It's nuts. So, you know, we don't have that problem at Ramsey because we're not dealing with that level of labor. We're mm -hmm. dealing with a high class, you know, generally here. So, we got a whole different whole different set of uh, uh, things that, that we deal with that are wonderful by and large. But, yeah, it's a, it's a great discussion, Jared. And, you know, the problem was you pulled the string on the monkey, so you got you got the soapbox. <laughs> you got the soapbox response because I can go on up for days about this. But it is interesting how ignorant, yeah. you know, some of this wealthy quality stuff is and all this stuff. It just They're ignorant of the connection, the unintended consequences of their little shallow ideas. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and where they're going. So I'm, I'm glad that he pulled the string. Yeah. Well, you just, every so often, I have to get it out of my system. <laughs> yeah.